Unfortunately, got left behind uh, after a show with Jeff somewhere. The text, the text left it. It was taped to the stage, and they left it. And it was like, oh no! So I never saw that one again. <laughs>
So I went and sent it to him when I was in Chicago. And then we got in touch. He sent it back to me. And it was insane when it came back. It was basically like a CD, Caesar Diaz 100, 100 watt amp in this uh, dual showman. And I remember Jeff asking me one night, he goes, man, what amp are you running? So I knew, like, I knew that, that it was, you know, like, and it was like a game changer. And then from there, our, I mean, Jeff, you know, he could play through anything and it would destroy the whole place. But, um, but really that was my, you know, where I started working with Caesar. I had also uh, purchased really early on a square face. I had one that was like a champagne color. It was such a cool one. It was the first one he sent me, told me how to use it. And uh, unfortunately, got left behind uh, after a show with Jeff somewhere. The text, the text left it. It was taped to the stage, and they left it. And it was like, <laughs> oh no! So I never saw that one again. And then uh, a couple years later, um, I drove down because I was in, living in Toronto. I drove down to uh, Pennsylvania. It was about a five or six hour drive. He wasn't that far away. And I brought a few of my Fender amps, and and he put me up uh, on his couch. I slept over, and like. His, his wife and his son were there and everybody was just so cool. He's like making me breakfast the next day. And I mean, Whoa. just one of the most hospitable guys. And we just spent the day in the basement um, in his workshop and he had like everything down there, everything. Yeah, you know, yeah, like, yeah. You know, so I had brought a fuzz face for him to look at and work on. And I never forget, it was a great sounding fuzz face, a, a red one, a BC 183L for anybody who cares. Not- and it was, um, it was great, like sounded amazing, but the pot was a problem with the pot. I think it was the fuzz pot. And um, and I, I brought it to him and he's like, hang on. And he sort of put it to the side and then he built a square face for me, but he went through this bag of transistors that was massive. Like there must've been, I don't know, there might've been a thousand in there. I mean, it was so many, like this bag. And he kind of went through, he pulled a bunch out, was measuring things, measuring things. And he goes, okay, okay finally got them made the pedal in a very short amount of time. And he goes, okay, plug this in. And cause he had list, I had been playing, he had worked on a super reverb for me. And so he was watching and listening. And so, so I plugged in the square face and was like, holy shit. And he goes, all right, now plug in that fuzz face. And we plugged in the fuzz face and it sounded like, like it sounded like this. and he goes, what do you want that piece of shit for, man? Get that out of here. You know, like he was so funny. Yeah, no, no, no. And, and he was just like, you know, he was such an amazing guy. Like uh, uh, some of the things like that he would that he would talk about, he was not messing around. Like he knew what he was doing. He knew exactly what he was trying to achieve when he was working for a specific sound for someone. Mm-hmm. And um, I just admired him so much and learned so much from him. And he was he was it was not a fluke. He didn't just like put a few things together. Like he. Every town when he was on the road, he would go and buy gear from a pawn shop. Or I mean, he had so much knowledge, very you know, very much like Alexander Dumble, but in his own way. Like they're different yeah, men, yeah, but yeah. like um, at that level of, of um, genius, ingenuity, magic, um, you know. And he could play his ass off. So it was like, <laughs> you know, he had great hands, man. When he would play, it just looks like sounded and looked so cool, but. He was really nice to me, and and we spent a you know really nice time together, and I'll never forget it. Wow, that's amazing. That's like that's 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 a great. You, yeah, you you delivered that like story crazy. Yeah. Like, that's, yeah, that's that's awesome, um, man. Yeah, do, do you have do you have a bunch of um, Diaz pedals still in your possession, um, or do you do you have do you try and is it one in one out sort of thing or? Yeah, I I still have the two that he made for me, uh, which is a, a Ranger and a Square Face. And I don't, I don't know if they're exactly, I don't think they're exactly stock. I think they might, he might've done a few things to them just based on voicing them for me. And cause I've yeah. never played other ones that sound like it. I do have a couple of other, I have a, a, a second. Um, yeah. I have like a couple of backups, but I don't have a whole bunch. I really have like a couple more and that's, you know, that's cool. That's really um, cool. And now they're pretty expensive. So it's like, um, but, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I was really thankful. I mean, he was just such a, such a wizard. Um, and um, I don't know, there was just something like something about him that was almost like a, a really amazing coach, you know, it was yeah. like sitting down with someone that was no nonsense, that was really just, he just, he'd been there and done it all, right? Yeah. He wasn't impressed. There's no licks. You can <laughs> you know, yeah. he's, you're not going to, you know, he's like stood a couple feet away from Stevie Ray Vaughan for years and Eric Clapton and all these guys. So, you know, it's like. He was just no nonsense. He's like, hey, here's what we got to do. We're going to focus the tone. Here's what we're going to, you know, he was just super high level, brilliant guy. 
That's amazing. That's amazing. Same here, Paul and Chris. Thank you for jumping on with us today. You know, I'm a big fan of your playing and your hilarious posts are, are uh, <laughs> they're they're Thanks, awesome. Dude. You bring That's you bring awesome. some light. You bring certainly bring some light to the scene. So thank you both. Yeah, keep soldering on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Thanks so much for that. You take care and yeah, stay yeah. well and safe and yeah, man, we're blown away the way. Yeah. Thanks so much. But, my my utmost respect to you both. Be well, stay you know, stay healthy, and we'll we'll do this again real soon. Much peace. Yeah, cool. take care. All right. Oh, that was so nice. Very heartwarming. Oh, lovely folks. Uh, yeah, just absolutely. Uh, check out Pedal Pond. They are uh, they got it going on, and very popular uh, company. And uh, as you see, super nice guys. So yeah, that was it. We uh, really hope you guys enjoyed it like we did. Um, it, we found it an amazing story, really enjoyed it. And you know, we wanted to tell you about the Together format, which connected us in the first place um, with Philip and a load of other cool artists. So um, yeah. Yeah, it was all around blown away by Philip's generosity and just the, the stories that blew our minds, to be honest. So yeah. That's what we had to just try and share it with you guys. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch you on the next one and cheers.